Hello Internet World, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a really cool, compact and very useful carpet cleaner from Vax. This is their brand new One Power Spotless Go. Now full disclosure as always, Vax sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the video or for me to say anything in particular. I'm going to be sharing with you my honest opinion about this and also its use case scenarios and how it performs. Now before I show you exactly what you get inside the box, I want to cover off why I mentioned One Power. Uh, this is their One Power battery. Now, you get one of these inside the box. It's a 2 amp battery, uh, 36 watt hour. And this can be used not only with the Spotless Go, but with other products in the One Power range. Things like the Vax Blade 4 cordless vacuum cleaner, for example. That makes this a very flexible system. It's great battery technology and it works extremely well. And the fact that it's interchangeable just makes it all that bit more useful. So you get a battery inside the box. You also get a charger. So this plugs into your wall socket and then the battery snaps into the charger like this. And then it starts charging. You get some little LED indicators showing that it's charging. There's also LED indicators on the top of the battery. Uh, four in total, each one represents approximately 25% of juice left inside the battery. And you can check this as well by pushing this button. You can see we've got two little lights lighting up at the moment. Now, you can actually check the charge with it on or off the charger. So just to show you that again a little bit closer, you push the button and you can see how much charge is left. And this snaps into this back portion of the spotless go, like so. And then this cover actually just protects it from any sort of splashes that might happen because something like this, you're going to have water in it as well and cleaning solution. So inside the box, you get the spotless go itself. I'll show you this a little bit closer very shortly. You also get some multi-floor cleaning solution. A uh, little tiny bottle. It's 250 millilitres just to get you up and running. When you buy replacements of this, you can obviously buy larger bottles. You also get three additional tools. You get a little brush. You also get like a rubberized brush. This is for pet hair, for example. And then you also get a squeegee, which you can attach. And you'd use this for maybe cleaning windows or hard floor surfaces. And these attach to the uh, sort of the wand portion here, which clips into the bottom of the machine. Now, this is dirty because I've been using it and I'll show you it in action very shortly. You can use this as it is now. So you can pull the trigger underneath, which will actually spray uh, liquid out of the, the front element here. And that will actually spray this onto your carpet or the surface that you're cleaning. Now you can add the attachments onto the bottom here. And in the demo, I'm gonna show you very shortly, I use this brush attachment and it just pushes in like this and then clips into place. And that allows you to spray the solution onto the surface you're cleaning. Also agitate it with this brush. And then not only does it spray the uh, liquid or the solution and water onto your carpet or your furniture, whatever you're cleaning with this, but it also sucks it up through this as well. And in this hose, there's an additional pipe and the water or the dirty water goes into this canister on the front of the machine. This is what fills up with the dirty water. It's quite a short sort of hose. I would have liked it to have just been a little tiny bit longer because when you're cleaning like a stairs, for example, uh, you, you just could have maybe an extra sort of foot or 12 inches, 30 centimeters extra length on here. That would have been really helpful, but it's still long enough just a little bit of extra length would have been nice. And it stores away really neatly. It goes around the front of the machine and then you clip this back onto the bottom here. Now the machine itself, let's give you a quick look at this. So on the top here, we've got the power on off button. It is cordless, so you haven't got to worry about a power cord. The battery I already showed you, it snaps onto the back here. This is the solution tank. And this fills up with a combination of the solution, the cleaning solution and water. So you unscrew this, top it up with water to the first mark and then up the rest of the way to the second mark where it says solution there. And then this goes back into 
the spotless go like that. And then the water tank at the back where it collects all of the dirty water, you push this tank release button, the whole thing comes off the back of the machine very, very easily. And then you lift this off and then you can empty this out into your drain and then give it a nice clean. Uh, and it just works extremely well. There's like a rubber uh, seal around here. So when you put this back on, it seals the tank and then you pop it back on to the back of the machine. And it goes on pretty easily. So a very nice, easy to use machine. I think we should take a look at it actually going. Let's take a look at it now and see how it performs. So this is what the VAC Spotless Go looks like. And it's a very compact cleaner, as you can see. And I'm gonna use this on these two stairs. One of the stairs I'm going to clean with this agitator type brush connected. And the other one I'm going to clean without this connected, just to see if it makes a difference. And I'll show you a before and afterwards during this little video demonstration. So let's just get this set up. This uses what's called the one power system. This means that you can share these batteries between devices. So this will work on the Vax Blade 4 cordless vacuum, for example. This has already been on charge. I can check the power by pushing the battery indicator just here, and it shows that it's fully charged. It goes in this little compartment here, slots on very easily, and then this protects it from getting any splashes onto it. And then we've also got the solution. So with the Spotless Go, you do actually get a little bottle of uh, cleaning or multi-floor solution, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And it's also got a citrus burst scent in this one. So you get a little sort of sample bottle to get you up and running. And this is the solution bottle uh, or the solution tank. And you fill it up to this level here with water and then you top it up with solution to the second mark. And then this goes in here. And then we are good to go. So I'm gonna pop this uh, down here. So just off camera to do this bottom stair. And then I'll pop it back up here so you can actually see it in action. So that's the first stair done, and it did actually use all of the solution tank on that first run. Uh, so I'm gonna to top this back up and do the second stair, but with the agitator brush as well. Uh, this should help work the solution uh, into the carpet a little bit more, and we'll see what the end result looks like. So there we go, the two stairs are now clean and I'm gonna insert what the stairs look like beforehand so that you get to see the difference. Now, just a, a word of caution really, that the Spotless Go isn't designed to do complete stairs. It's designed to pick up sort of stains and spills, but I wanted to do a larger area just so you could see the difference. Now, the stair where I didn't use the brush, where I just used the suction tool, looks a lot cleaner but the pile, and when you take into account stair carpets, uh, get a lot of footfall. So the, the pile on this is, is quite flat. 
it does look brighter, but it hasn't sort of made it look like a, a fresher carpet. Whereas the second stair, where I used the little brush tool as well, just to agitate the pile, uh, just looks a lot fresher. It's done a really good job. It's not completely dry, but it is dry enough to walk on. It smells really nice and fresh, and I think this has done a great job. And when you look at the canister that collects all of the wastewater, just look at the colour of that. Absolutely disgusting. It just goes to show how much dirt the Spotless Go has pulled out of these stair carpets. So I'm really impressed on a lot of fronts really with this. First of all, the portability factor. It's a very light machine, really easy to carry upstairs, nice and compact. So if you just want to do a quick clean up of something you spilt, maybe you spilt a glass of wine, maybe your dog has had an accident and done a whoopsie on the floor, or maybe your cat has made a little bit of a mess on the carpet. This makes it so, so easy to clean up those spills. It's not really designed to clean up whole stairs like I showed you during that demonstration, but I thought it was worth doing that because I wanted you to see a before and after, just to give you an indication of how powerful this is. It's got really good suction power. I mentioned that I would like this hose to be a little bit longer. The only other thing I found that was a little bit of a negative, but not a deal breaker, is this solution tank. Although it's nice and compact and very easy to remove from the machine and fill up, and I know it's only designed to pick up smaller spills and stains, but I just would have liked this to have been a little bit bigger as well. It runs out very, very quickly. The battery technology is impressive though. Battery life is extremely good. And overall, I think it's a, a very good product. Super useful if you've got pets, young children, or as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you have the occasional uh, sort of spillage of food or drink on the floor. So a really good machine to keep your carpets and furniture in tip top condition. The Vax Spotless Go, I can really recommend it. I'm very, very impressed. Now I've left links to where you can actually purchase one of these for yourself down in the video description area. And I've also left a link down there to the Vax website where you can either look at this model and buy it direct from them, or indeed you can look at other products in their range as well. If you've got any questions at all, please do pop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.